Hello class, this is science class 7. Today we are going to handle the topic crop pests. Crop pests. First, we have to give the meaning of the word pest. What is crop pest? A pest is an animal or an organism. When we say animal or an organism, this one must be a living thing. So a pest is an animal or an organism that causes damage to a plant. There are two types of pests. Pests are put into two main categories. One, we have feed pests. Two, we have storage pests. Where do we find storage pests? Storage pests, we find them in stores. They destroy crops kept in the store. They include rodents. I hope you know rodents. For example, we have rats, we have mice, those are examples of rodents. We have uh, another story pest called termite. Another story pest we have, we have weevils, a common pest which attack cereals in our stores, grains in our stores. Here we have white ants. When I bring you back to termites, Termites, these are really destructive. They will destroy the store itself. For example, if your store is made of wooden materials, they eat the store and eat the, the, uh, the, the products in your store. When we come to field pest, field pests, these are found in the field. They attack crops that are in the field attack crops that are in the field those are field pests then under the field pest we have examples of field pests they include aphid when you talk of aphid when you check your vegetables at the top you will see some uh, grayish or dark uh, small organisms there those most of the time they are aphids these aphids, they suck sap from leaves, especially the young leaf which has just emerged. They suck that sap. Remember sap, this is the fluid in leaves which uh, transport food because leaves, this is where plants make their own food. So they suck that sap and when they suck, they suck the sap. The plant may dry because the food has been consumed and the nutrients has been consumed. We have cutworms, which is an example of a field pest. Cutworms, these ones cut stems of young seedlings See, at the ground level. The stem of young seedling. For example, if this is a seedling, if this is a seedling, now at the ground level, this ground, this ground, so they cut at the ground level. Then, so cutworms cut stems of young seedlings at the ground level. Then we have stock borer. Another example of field pest, stock borer. They make holes on the stem. For example, we have maize stock borer. They bore hole. Now a big plant just like maize, they bore the hole. Now the is it's a big plant. They bore hole and eat what is inside the stem. Then lastly here yeah, we have beaver bird. Weaver bird is dangerous, especially before harvesting. Uh, when you go to the millet field, when you go to sorghum field, when you go to maize plantation, when you go to rice plantation, weaver bird is dangerous there. They feed on our grains before harvesting, especially before they dry. That's the time they destroy them. They can clear the whole field within a period of a short time. So this. Uh, examples of field pests are pigs, cutworms, stockbora, and and how they attack crops. Uh, then this pest 
by attracting crops they have some effects that's what we say effects of pests on crops effects of pests on crops one transmit diseases transmit diseases when pests attack a diseased crop for example let's assume this crop is sick or it means it has a disease so when pests attack it and move to another crop it carries that disease from this crop to another crop so when pests attack a diseased crop they carry microorganisms that cause diseases to another plant number two low yields low yields when pests attack some parts of a plant such as leaves what happens they interfere with the process of photosynthesis and when the process of photosynthesis is interfered with some pests also attack flowers some also attack uh, fruits therefore reducing the quality of harvest and i will mention something photosynthesis what is photosynthesis this is how plants make their own food so when pests interfere with the process of photosynthesis this plant can't make it food, its food normally so there will be low yield then the next one we have what is called reduce quality of produce this was low yield it means it is less but this is quality quality when you take your goods to the market your produce to the market what people check most is the quality quality is the fullness of a product different pests attack different parts of a plant for example we have stock borer what can it do sometimes they make holes in sugar cane affecting its quality for example we have armyworm you know armyworm sometimes they make patches on skuma wiki oh, yes, skuma wiki is what we call canes reducing the quality and lowering the price then we have causes disease to consumers they can also cause disease to consumer for example uh, fungi and bacteria cause diseases to crops when animals consume these crops they are also affected and this can lead to food poisoning too then we have increased cost of production the amount of money you are going to invest uh, to produce or to get good produce will be high because you will be using some money to buy um, or pesticides to control all this pest all this pest then we have methods of controlling pests how do we control pests how do we control pests one i'm going to start with the friendly way of controlling pests and this is what we say sometimes staying friendly way of living with wild animals we must not have friendly way of living with wild animals so we have one the friendly way first we are going to talk of trapping you trap them this is using a device called a trap to kill the pest rodents are very controlled by trapping trapping you trap them another friendly way of controlling is scaring this one works well weaver works you can use what you call scarecrow you make an image or something which looks like you and you dress it with the, your normal clothes so for example when you have a scam or when you have a scam they see something which looks like you and they run away so farmers make objects that look like human beings to scare away some pests that's what we call scaring another way we have hand picking i'm still talking of friendly way hand picking depending on the size of the farm the farmer may decide to hand pick some pests from the crops now we are also weeding remember weeds have what do we mean by have weeds they hide that's uh, they 
where the in a field where there are weeds, crops or crop pests make that place their home and we hide it there. So it is the removal of unwanted crops from a farm that's called weeding. These weeds usually harbor pests that attack crops. Some pests attack particular weeds, therefore weeding will control some pests. We have something called fruit pruning. Pruning is removing parts of unwanted plant. Maybe the, this part of a plant is sick. What do we do? You cut it, you chop it off. That's pruning. All that part which has pest, you can chop it off. So all the part which is sick, you remove it. So that's called pruning. We can use pruning saw or something called secatoas. Then lastly, this is the last method you're supposed to use. After trying trapping, after trying weeding, after going in, pruning, after doing scaring and, and picking, lastly you go for spraying. Spraying, this one is use of chemicals. Chemicals called pesticides are sprayed on crops to kill pests. Some chemicals are mixed with water before we spray them. Different pests require different pesticides. Don't just go and buy pesticides and you start spraying. No, you ask uh, the experts to give you the best pesticide for spraying which kind of pest. So spray is mainly done to control insects such as aphids, insects such as cutworms, insects such as termites. That's uh, methods of controlling pests. So and any method which you are using to control pests, make sure it is not affecting crops because these crops we use them for consumption, consumption. We use them for food. That's what uh, we get today from pest. Now remember, at home, wear your mask, keep yourself safe, sanitize, stay home, and keep washing your hands. Blessed day.